Hi, and welcome to this episode of my Moon Signs of the Zodiac series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what it means if you or someone that you know has their moon ruled by the sign of Cancer. So, and f- to first understand what that means, we have to know what is the moon sign. Well, the moon sign represents uh, your emotional needs, what provides you a sense of security and safety, like what it is that you need in order to feel that sense of calm. The emotional nature is the heart, it's what's happening on the inside, it's how you feel. It's not really about how you're living and what you're doing and external events and things like that, that's more like the sun, but the moon is is just like how you're feeling, how you're reacting, what you need on an emotional level. So we, it's, it's also representative of um, what comes automatically to you, what is just instinctive, what is like second nature or just first nature, like what what you are on an emotional level, like what you need. That also represents your experiences with the mother growing up. Could be any parent, typically it's the mother. And, um, and how that affects you on a way that you react to emotional stimuli, what you need for security and stuff like that. Like we tend to look at the moon sign as being um, kind of um, influenced by the mother. And um, so, yeah, it, it's all about emotional need, security, instinctive, automatic, uh, emotional reactions and behaviours. So... Now that we understand that, what does it mean if you or someone that you know's moon is ruled by the sign of Cancer? Well, the first thing to know is the moon is very comfortable in this sign. It's very comfortable here, ruled by Cancer. Um, Why is that? Well, Cancer, the sign of Cancer, is naturally ruled by the moon. Every zodiac sign has a planet or two planets that governs that sign. So... Your moon sign is governed by a sign that is naturally governed by the moon. So you see they're on the same page here. Like The moon likes uh, stability and privacy, security, comfort, um, being in touch with their emotions. And the sign of cancer is all about that stuff. They're on the same page here. So there is definitely a big, big blessing here when it comes to having your moon in Cancer. Now, obviously, with every placement in astrology, there is uh, good and bad, or what they might call a shadow side, you know, whatever your terminology may be. There's always uh, gifts and challenges and ways that we can learn and grow as well as, you know, good things. But, I mean, it could could all be good things, really. It just depends on your perspective. But Cancer moon, yeah, your moon's very comfortable here. So what is Cancer? I mean, Cancer, as we discussed, is represented by the moon. Cancer is represented by the crab. Now, what is the crab? The crab has a hard shell, hard outer shell to protect its soft insides. It's got big pincers, so very sharp. It can, uh, it's very cutting, you know, and it's very cautious, sidesteps, you know, um, super cautious, super protective, super, yeah, safety focused, you know, tough on the outside, definitely. So when we think of cancer, we always think of the crab, you know. Um, yeah, so, and um, as, you know, the cancer is ruled by the moon, what is, you know, uh, could get confusing here when we're, you know, but, but basically, yeah, so this is a zodiac sign that is all about intuition, emotions, uh, nurturing, um, it's feminine sign, very feminine, it's a motherly sign, it's, it's the sign of the mother, it's the sign of the home, family, safety, security, privacy, um, the past, yeah, just like security, safety, emotions, like stuff like that, you know, and wanting to, like needing that, but also wanting to pro- provide that for other people, loved ones, you know, I want to make sure that you're taken care of, I want to make sure that you're you're safe, that you're doing good and all that, that you got everything you need, that's very Cancerian, even if they're a bit moody about it, um, their intentions are good, <laughs> um, you know, they're crab, crabby, you know, like, yeah. Uh, 
we think, what does the moon do? The moon is uh, a luminary in the sky that unlike the other ones, it goes through these very visible and obvious changes from a new moon invisible to uh, uh, you know waxing, waning, full moon is changing, 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 always in a cycle of flux, a uh, kind of cycle of flux and changeability. So yeah, crabby um, can be a little bit um, changeable when it comes to emotions, a little bit like uh, feeling great one day, feeling really not great the next day can be a bit grumpy. I think, uh, yeah, like that again, it's just that natural kind of sense of cycles that are built into the emotions here. It's not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing. Um, definitely not. Don't want to come across like I'm saying, like like it is. Um, moon. So it's a uh, it's a cardinal sign. You know, um, as I mentioned in my other videos, we got cardinal signs, fixed signs, mutable signs. Cardinal. So we got what are the cardinal signs? It's uh, okay, all right. Cancer, Libra, um, Aries, Aries, yeah, and um, Scorpio, Scorpio, is that right? No, 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 not Scorpio, not Scorpio, Cancer, all right, Ca <laughs> Cancer, all right, 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 hold on, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, yep, yeah. Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, right, 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 yeah, those are the ones, so what do those signs have in common? They are, um, leader they have leadership qualities they've got strong leadership qualities they want to take charge take care people look out for people these are signs that are good when things are not good like they can uh they can kind of step up i mean they all every sign can but with the cancer you, you know you, there's a big need here to uh, protect nurture and defend loved ones you know so yeah anyway so what are what are some of the traits here that someone with a cancer moon might have well need for security need for safety Th those are the biggest things here that i would say like the most prominent super security and safety focused right so this person they're going to be intuitive they're going to be sensitive they might have uh, uh yeah a natural aptitude there for picking up on energy vibes just reading between the lines emotional intelligence for a cancer moon person is very high you get emotions you feel them very heavily deeply there's a heaviness here with cancer moon sometimes your emotions might be overwhelming so deep still waters run deep cautious and i say still waters run deep because the cancer moon individual i'm saying yeah you, you are very emotional super emotional are you necessarily always going to emote that express that and be like look at me i'm emotional no it's like i'm saying you got the armor you got that uh need for security safety careful real careful the crab you know um cautious so security focus so you're not like even though you feel things so deeply you're not going to be emoting it so much that's why i say still waters run deep with a cancer moon individual cautious super cautious you know um and as, as what you know, like just from a symbolic point of view, why is the crab so cautious? Because he's vulnerable. You know, the crab is vulnerable. It's got this soft inside. It's it's a lot of predators out there. The crab, if he's not, if it's not careful, he or she could uh, be really hurt. You know, soft inside. So that's why they have this shell here. So, can, cancer man individual, so sensitive, so deep, feel things so deeply. That's why you are so careful. That's why you have to protect yourself so much because you could really get hurt maybe more than other people. So that's why there's this cautiousness there because you're, you're, you're by your own nature, whether you understand it on a conscious level or not, your unconscious knows that you could get, you get messed up. Like, so you have to protect yourself and you're aware that other people, your loved ones may get messed up. They could also get hurt. People could hurt them. Life could hurt them. So there is a nurturing quality. And again, with the Cancer Moon, like I'm saying, there's this mothering quality, wanting to protect. Some of the other signs, cardinal signs, like they might want to provide in a more material way, more practical way, more analytical way. Cancer is emotional, you know. 
um, so wanting to be there on an emotional level for people. Also, maybe wanting to feed people, like, yeah, nurture them like that, yeah, kind of family stuff, kind of parental kind of stuff, like, I'll make sure you got everything you need. So there's a tendency, like, there. Cancer, I, when I think of, so I, I think, so cancer, wanting to look after people, just, I would like to quickly mention Aquarius, similar like that. But with Aquarius, that kind of extends to like everyone, everything, like humanitarianism. Like I want to make things better for people in general, the world. Cancer is more like, I got to just look out for like my kin, you know, my family, my loved ones, my friends, like people in my my sanctum, you know, like my, yeah, my, my, my kin here. I want to like make sure that they're doing okay. So and it, it has a similar kind of caring quality, but with cancer, it's more kind of, into like the looking after your loved ones rather than like just humanitarianism in general you know not that you can't be of course you can be but yeah so yeah definitely protective nurturing uh, leadership qualities definitely can step up when uh, things aren't so good and other people are maybe freaking out a bit cancer moon can step in there and can be a bit of a rock you know strong need for privacy uh, that might annoy some people um whatever you're feeling or thinking you might not even be wanting to tell people maybe people might be saying like what's wrong what's wrong i can i know there's something up with you and you'll be saying nothing i'm fine nothing you yeah, know i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine nothing nothing <laughs> you're not gonna want to say it because again it's like that hard shell that hard outer shell you know um moodiness and i think it's like yeah, yeah you can be moody sometimes and maybe there's a self knowledge their intuition just like i know i, I know I'm going through a mood right now don't want to talk about it you don't have to talk about it you just want to deal with it on your own so again like there's a need for privacy here you know because like i'm saying your emotional world runs so deep you don't necessarily want to share that all the time even with your loved ones privacy keeping secrets yeah um Maybe you're a bit quiet. Maybe you're a little bit quiet, a little bit mysterious. Sentimental. Sentimental, yeah. Uh, nostalgic, looking back a lot, I think means, yeah, might like, um, yeah, be a little bit more looking to the past rather than the future, you know. Thinking of like the good old days and memories and things that have gone by and old photographs and uh, old, uh, heirlooms and family stuff and all that so yeah big family orientated sign big big family orientated sign you know um so yeah mysterious definitely a mysterious individual oh yeah mysterious so um strong imagination big imagination um probably very good at visualizing things you can visualize things um could be of an artistic temperament. You could just get moved really strongly by stuff, stuff you see on the news. Um, moved really strongly, you know, on an emotional level. So it can maybe be a bit exhausting sometimes navigating the world. The world is very messed up, as we all know. Um, Cancer Moon. Yeah, your your emotions could get really you could get really sad about stuff like super sad about stuff you know like maybe a bit more easily than some other people um it could things could just get you in in your gut just a lot a lot yeah a lot more easily so yeah desire for deep connections so you might not have a lot of friends but you might not have a lot you might you might be but you might have lots of friends lots of acquaintances be super social but really I think that what you value is just like less connections but really deep ones strong deep connections love love is what you're all about you know it's real connection love sentimentality you know emotional bonds super super you know um family very close to your family parents um you might be yeah like just like wanting to start a family of your own have a family of your own super family oriented again i can't stress that enough family oriented sign nurturing sign you know you um you, you there could be some a lot of emotional baggage with cancer the element of water 
it just has a strong memory it retains psychic emotional shock waves information not rem not forgetting things not letting things go you might forget information but you won't forget how it's, you felt you know um someone upset you or whatever you, you may have a hard time letting things go As some other people might have an easier time like of yeah life moves on whatever cancer moon and I'm, this is not a bad thing but you're more likely to go nah i remember all this stuff and i remember how i felt and i'm not letting that go and there's nothing wrong with that at all but i would say yeah well the, sh the shadow side of that is you can hold on to emotional baggage and what what is baggage it's stuff that we carry around that's heavy so make sure you're not carrying around unnecessary like psychic like kind of burden you know emotional burden like just like let things go if they're hurting you if they're not serving you i would cancer emotional it's not just like deep emotions and mentality love it's it can also be anger it can also be hatred you know cancer feeling emotions anger is an emotion you know um so all sorts of emotions and not all of them are nice so and you can be burdened by that you can be burdened by that you don't have to be you can let things go but there is a tendency here with a cancer moon to be more likely to hold on to things on an emotional level um a lot of time alone yeah like i'm saying you know with cancer because it uh it's uh governed by the moon and a uh, cancer is um at home within the fourth house it takes on fourth house qualities um so the need for it to be at the home uh privacy um rest retreat from the outside world so spending a lot more time at home than maybe a lot of other people would yeah wanting to be home wanting to be resting definitely um so yeah i mean i'm not saying like if you got cancer man you're going to want to be at home all the time not at all but like that's going to be so important for you you know to have that time like yeah very very important and um yeah so yeah anyway that's about it for this video um if you liked it please leave a comment please subscribe if you haven't already please like the video um i am taking on um commissions so if you want your birth chart done like your entire birth chart i'll do that for 15 pound uh just email me my link my email is down below also my website so yeah um take care everyone thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one